Hello everyone, I am Manali Reshamwala, Assistant Professor from LG Institute of Physiotherapy. Today I am going to talk about group action of muscles, which is a part of syllables for first year physiotherapy students of Gujarat University. The subject is Exercise Therapy 1. Group action of muscles. Under normal conditions, a single muscle never works alone to produce movement for security. Functionally, muscles work together in groups. Although each muscle have some specific part to play in a relation to the action of whole group. To produce efficient functional movement, an integrated activity of many muscles is required. And for that, according to function, they are divided into agonist, antagonist, synergist, and fixators. Agonists are also called as prime movers. They are the group of muscles which contract to provide the force required to produce movement. For example, in elbow flexion, biceps and brachialis both are helpful, but the brachialis has a major part to play in contraction or movement of elbow flexion. So brachialis is called as the prime mover or agonist. Next is antagonist. These are the muscles whose action would oppose that of the agonist. Therefore, their activity is inhibited and they relax progressively to control and permit the movement. So, if the agonist contracts, the antagonist also goes for relaxation by neurological reflex. So, the antagonist muscles are opposite that of the agonist muscles. And when agonist contracts, antagonist relaxes. For example, in elbow flexion, triceps acts as the antagonist to biceps while flexing the elbow. Here in a figure, the, all the heads of triceps is shown. Next is synergist, where syn means with, it is a Latin word. These muscle group work with the agonist to provide suitable background for movement. For example, in elbow flexion, biceps acts as a synergist to brachialis. It helps to generate more force along with the brachialis so that elbow flexion can be very forceful. Here in figure, on the left side, biceps muscle is being shown, which is the interior in the arm. And below it, there is a brachialis, which is more close to humerus bone. Next. Here we can see when agonist contracts, antagonist relaxes. Here antagonist is triceps and agonist are biceps and brachialis. Where when they contract, the opposite muscle relaxes. Fixators Fixators are the muscles which fixes the attachment of the agonist, antagonist and synergist. So fixators, the name as given, they fixes the bony part so that the agonist, antagonist and synergist can work easily. For example, the muscles attached with shoulder girdle to trunk acts as fixator for the deltoid muscle action. For example, here shown, if deltoid muscle is working as in case of shoulder abduction, the rhomboids and serratus anterior helps in such a way to keep the scapula stable. So on stable scapula, shoulder joint includes glenohumeral joint. So glenoid cavity is fixed in scapula because of rhomboids and serratus anterior muscle. So humeral head can easily move on it. Fixators are not only fixing the bony component as we, we have seen in the previous example, while movement of agonist, antagonist and synergist and also have a dynamic properties. Like any dynamic work we are doing, at that time also fixators helps to make ourselves steady in such a way that we can perform that movement very easily. It is not only having the isometric contraction contraction but also has isotonic in altering the pattern of movement. Usually fixators work as an isometric contraction so that agonist and agonist can work easily. But in dynamic activity 
दे आर ऑल्सो वर्किंग एज आइसोटॉनिक कॉन्ट्रेक्शन वेयर फिक्सेटिव वर्क इज़ वेरी मच नीडेड इन नॉर्मल डे टू डे एक्टिविटी फॉर एग्जाम्पल थ्रेडिंग इन नीडल थ्रोइंग अ बॉल एवरी टाइम इफ यू आर थ्रोइंग अ बॉल देन रेस्ट ऑफ द बॉडी पार्ट रिमेन स्टेबल विद द हेल्प ऑफ फिक्सेटर मसल्स एंड वी कैन फोकस ओनली ऑन द मूवमेंट विच वी आर डूइंग हियर आर द रेफरेंसेज थैंक यू